and joining us now are Rob Longo and Deb Debbie Somerville from the Veterans Ministry at uh, uh, Lake Point, Lake Point Community, Community Church. Church. That's right. Yeah. And uh, I only recently found out about your organization a couple of years ago when I was invited to cover um, uh, the, the summer picnic. Right. Uh, at the time, I think the weather didn't cooperate, so it was moved indoors, but it was a really great event. Yes. And it is right around the corner again, right? July 29th. So All right, let's 25. hear about it. What can uh, veterans expect? Well, before I get started, I'd just like to thank you very much for having us on mm -hmm. and for helping us promote this to the community. It's extremely important. I don't know how long this or, or the area that you guys cover, but um, it would definitely help and for other veterans to know what we're doing at our church. Yeah. Um, so we started this about 15 years ago, um, and I'm a chaplain for our veterans uh, ministry, and we have an annual picnic honoring uh, local veterans and their families. Um, and this property that we have is, off Drainer, is on Drainer Road and there's like 30 acres and it's wooded, beautiful. We got a lakefront property and, and uh, it's about a half a mile west of Lapeer Road mm -hmm. on Drainer Road. So um, usually every year um, we have a, a vintage auto show. Our guys bring their old Fords and Model A's and T's and and other people that hear about it, they also bring some of their cars from the 50s and 60s. So anybody out there that um, that's a veteran, you're always welcome to come, bring your family. And if you have a, an old classic car, you're more than welcome. Um, and pro we serve approximately 300 to 400 guests each year, and about half of them are veterans mm. with their families. Uh, this year, we will have veterans come from the new Michigan Homes for Veterans in Chesterfield Township and vets from the VA Medical Center and Community, community Living Center. Uh, there are several veteran organizations and advocate groups uh, which will also be there this year. Uh, the VFW and the Auxiliary of Oxford, Vietnam Veterans of American Oakland County, uh, People of Impact, which is a new organization up in the pier, uh, Neighbors Helping Neighbors, and, and the list just goes on. That's amazing. Now, last year when I was there, uh, I, I kind of joked that it was like a giant mess hall. You got <laughs> buffet lines, tables as far as the eye can see. Talk about the volunteers and the prep that goes into having all this food ready for the four or 500 people that come in. It, it takes quite a, a long time to put all this together. Uh, however, we've been doing this for 15 years. So we, we have a committee that, um, if something went wrong or if we need to revamp something, we, we're always putting that out and trying to make it better each year for the veterans. Um, there's a lot of people from our church and our community that help out over 100 volunteers. Uh, we set up Friday the day before, um, like I said, 100, about 100 volunteers and wow. just a lot of people uh, taking time out of their lives to, to help uh, support our veterans ministry. Is the food prepared at the church or do people prepare it, it at home and bring it, it in? It used to be people prepared it at home and brought it in and the ladies at church and other women would bake goods and pies and all. The dessert table used to be one big round table. Yeah. Now it's about three or four <laughs> round tables. It's the most important part. That's the really. most important is, is dessert. <laughs> but uh, now I think things have changed with the government coming in and uh, we can't cook our own so we have to have it prepared from organizations that are affiliated with the government. Yeah. So what's on the menu this year? Um, you know, that's a surprise to me. We, <laughs> we used to have, uh, uh, obviously, there's a pig. There's a, it is a hog roast. <laughs> all right. Uh, but we're going to have brats and hot dogs and burgers and people serving all that. And we'll have serving lines. And, and if uh, some veterans are uh, kind of disabled or in wheelchairs and can't get around, uh, we do come up to the tables and we do ask them what they want. We do bring the food to their tables and, mm -hmm. and serve them. And so uh, as far as desserts, uh, it's anybody's guess. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, are they going to be eating outside or is it going to be inside? It like just it was depends on the weather. Yeah, uh, yeah. We've always had it outside, yeah. um, but we have our, our backup plan was inside. And we had it uh, last year and it worked out fantastic. Um, a few hours it rained, but then the sun came out and other people started going outside and the antique car showed up. Mm. Uh, so this year we're planning it outside. We have some tents set up 
to keep you out of the sun and uh, so then there'll be organizations uh, around different stations we'll have a, a couple of uh, nurses or doctors there if uh, for an emergency if something does happen to anyone yeah. we have staff there and um, how is it possible do you guys have a fundraiser leading up to this every year we do we have a fundraiser it's um, it's in usually in March or April it's uh, we call it the Bolorama it's at Collier Lanes um, and that's been extremely successful the first year we uh, we had it we were doing okay and then it just seemed like God kept blessing us with more people and I don't know if, how many lanes they have if it's 35 <laughs> lanes or 40 <laughs> lanes if 40 lanes and we have lane sponsors and those lanes uh, mm -hmm. are all bought up by sponsors and then sometimes uh, there's 50 or 60 lane sponsors so people are very generous and gracious to, to help the veterans out and people get the bowl there's a couple slices of pizza some pop and uh, no beer, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. But then we have uh, you know drawings and people win things and tickets and 50-50 raffles and mm. so yeah, that's where we try to make our funds from. Do you have a similar event around the holidays too? Yes, we do. Uh, in the fall, um, we do have a dinner uh, that we set up, and I think this will be the third year that we're doing it, and it's pretty successful. Uh, first year, I think we had about 150 people. The next year we had about 200 people, 250, and this year I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, a veteran and their spouse is always welcome to come. We have other organizations there, some dignitaries, people, uh, attorneys, and and uh, Congress people show up, and mm. we have a guest speaker and um, a couple people playing, you know, musical instruments and singing, and and the veterans are recognized. We had a uh, couple World War II veterans there, two or three of them. Uh, one wow. gentleman I happen to know uh, personally, um, he had passed uh, two or three months before he was 100 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, he served in World War II, so. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You're a Navy veteran. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. a nice uh, afternoon it out It does, for actually. Family. It does. I might have to. I'm <laughs> taking this with me, <laughs> by the way. I'll You're let my welcome husband. My husband is also a veteran. He's a 20-year retired oh. Navy senior chief, so. Well, thank you. Might have but you're to. welcome to bring your family uh, to that event. And Absolutely, yeah. 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 I'll let them know. I don't think we're doing anything, honestly. Oh, there you go. There you go. It's talk good about, to um, Talk about why you do it. What kind of reactions do you get from the veterans who come out? I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's one day, but I would imagine this means the world to the people who are there, not only to get a meal out of it, but to be around like-minded people who had similar experiences. Yeah. So talk about that. Why do you do it, and what kind of reactions do you get? So it's the camaraderie. You know, you go in the military, you leave your home, your family, and you're in a strange environment, and you have to kind of get along with people from the south, from the north, from <laughs> different environments where they, you know, they grew up differently. And, uh, but you come together. And you're you got each other's back. You're for one another. Um, you're not alone. And nobody's ever left behind. Mm -hmm. We we goof and, and around and play with each other. But if you attack one of us, you attack all of us. It doesn't matter who you are. But um, everyone seems to be more than gracious sometimes. And you, you get to meet people, um, lifelong friends. And and I um, I served in 1968 from 68 to 72 during the Vietnam War. And I was an aircraft mechanic and a crew chief, so I got to fly on uh, cargo airplanes. And I've been all over the world and, like I said, four, four continents, 20 different countries. So mm. getting to meet other veterans and other people in, in the service areas, getting connected with them and still being connected with them, you know, 50-some-odd years later. So um, yeah. just awesome. You yeah. know, one of my favorite things, I was also a Navy brat, so a lot of, you know, my first 10 years of life was spent with my dad being in the Navy, and one of my favorite things that we used to do, like when we lived in Hawaii when I was younger, and my dad would bring back, you know, he was out on the Japanese ship for a little while, he was, you know, we had Australians come. It doesn't, like, there's this uh, interesting thing that happens with people who serve in the military, not just here, but, you know, in other places too, mm -hmm. you, you just kind of, um, it becomes an instant community. You have, a, you know, common language, and you just want to take care of each other. Yeah. We never had a Thanksgiving alone, even if my dad wasn't there, because there'd be somebody at our table. Mm -hmm. So it uh, it always seemed like, um, you know, barbecues all the time on the beach yeah. and that type of thing. So this it feels very um, like what I would have experienced, you know, years ago. So that's that's an interesting um, concept. 
to think yeah. about. You know, it's it's a it's a common language and a common feeling that you. Yeah. And it's when nice we to got out during the Vietnam War, it wasn't like um, like World War Two. You know, the veterans yeah. were taken care of. It was a totally different world. When we came out, they kind of shut us down. We you know turned to ourselves and. And there was a lot of things going on in our lives and trying to readjust back to c civilian life and people have turned inward and, and using drugs and alcohol and, and other things and, and we had no support. There was yeah. nobody that you know, stood up for us and, um, and it was difficult to process all of that. You know? And we served this country. You know? We signed up to, to serve. You. We didn't run. We didn't um, move to Canada. We didn't burn our, I didn't burn my draft card. You know? I, yeah. I said, I will do, do yeah. this. And to serve my nation, you know, a lot didn't have a choice. I mean, the draft was still in effect. Oh and, yeah, big time. Um, and it, you know, it must be pretty special for you. I mean, I know it's taken a long time for this to happen, but like you said, immediately after the Vietnam War, th things weren't positive. You guys experienced a lot of negativity. Now, when you go out in public, if you wear a hat, if you wear something that identifies you as a veteran, people come up, yes. shake your hand. That's yep. that's got to mean a lot to you. It, it does. Um, so the reason why I wear my hat or whatever is to uh, show people that I've I've served, and it opens up some communication. People will say, "Thank you for your service. Did you serve?" "Yes, I did." And then we got some dialogue, or we'll be walking in the supermarket with this hat on, and and some young kid would would come up and say, "Hey, thank you for your service." And so it it opens up the door um, for people to to have a dialogue about what we have done and, and where we are today and some of our young children have no idea. They not, haven't been a part of a war since the Iraqi war, Afghanistan, all that stuff. Um, so they get a better appreciation of, of understanding of who we are and what we've done for this, this country yeah. and what we've sacrificed. Mm -hmm. You know, they have a saying that, you know, uh, some gave all, but all gave some. And, mm -hmm. and it was part of their lives that they, they've given up for this country, so. yeah. Well, this picnic is a great way to thank yes. veterans for their service. Um, if if veterans do want to take part in this, do they need to register ahead of time? Can can they show up day of? What do you recommend? Well, maybe Debbie, you want to. Well, we on our uh, QR code, you can register because we need a, a food count. Oh, uh, sure. Um, I'm part of the cooking and serving group, so it's good to know how much food I need to prepare and have ready and how many volunteers we need for the kitchen and the food tent. So, but you can just show up. Yeah. Yeah. We're always prepared. <laughs> kind of like the service. We're always prepared. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just That's make right. extra. Yeah. It'll go away. Right. It'll, it'll get eaten. Just make extra. We do. Yeah. And uh, if there's enough food left over, we... We have packages and right. we pack it all up and give it to the veterans. They yep. could take it home. And mm. these veterans are living in shelters and and some just you know living in in homes that are always welcome and invited. But yeah, well, that's great. Uh, I understand the church has a website, LakePointCC.org, where you can find more information. Uh, you can email uh, Karen Collier Finch. I'm sure you know who that is. Karen yeah. Finch. Uh, yeah, Collier. Karen Finch. Finch Collier. She's our new leader. Yeah, she's a, a major, a retired major from the Army. And Bob Tenbosch used to oh, sure. be in charge, and he had kind of stepped down, and Karen has taken his position. Oh, fantastic. But he's still involved, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Her email is cmfinchy, F I N C H Y, <laughs> at yahoo.com. So if you're a veteran, reach out and enjoy a, a great day with like-minded people, and I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun and a lot to talk about. Yes, sir. So mm -hmm. thanks for doing this, and thanks for coming out here today. Well, and thanks I'm for having I'm glad us. we can help you get the word out. We've been yes. promoting it on our channel and on uh, Facebook and everything. So we appreciate thank you. that. All right. And it's for pleasure. serving the veterans, you know. Sure. Uh, for myself, I just um, I serve God first, I serve others second, and myself last. So you put yourself in that posture and, and um, you're happy. Awesome. Right. I'll be there with my camera like there I was go. last year. So and, look and for bring me an appetite around. also. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yeah. All right, thanks for coming out. Yeah.